Now before going ahead, let's get to know what population means. Well, population is the total number of people living in a particular city or state or a country. And today we will discuss in detail the population of India. First, let's understand the importance of population. Now, people themselves are resources with varying qualities. They play a very important role in the development of the economy and the society. And they are the ones who identify and use the available resources. For example, coal was merely a piece of rock until people discovered ways to remove it and use it as a resource. And today, we see use of coals at various important places like the generation of electricity, production of steel, as liquid fuel, etc. Again, natural events like river flood or tsunami become a disaster and catastrophic only when they affect a crowded village or a town. So we can say that resources, calamities or disasters all make sense when they are related to human beings. Now since human beings are the producers and consumers of the earth's resources, it is very important to know how many people are there in a country, where do they live, how and why their numbers are increasing and what are their characteristics. And it is this census of India that provides us with the very useful information regarding the population of our country. By the way, do you know what does the word census mean? So before we go ahead, let's understand what it means by the term census. A census is an official record of population done periodically. In a simpler term, uh, a census is a procedure of acquiring and storing information of a given population. So basically a number of households are visited by the interviewers and individual information which is gathered is then stored for reference. Now according to the census of 2001, the population of India was 1,028 million and that accounted for 16.7% of the world's population. In the year 2011, it reached 1,210.6 million and that accounted for 17.5% of the world's population. Although India makes up for 17.5% of the world's population, the people in India occupy just 2.4% of the total land in the world. And it has been projected that by 2045, India would surpass China's population and become the most populous country in the world. Moving on, the 2001 census data reveals that Uttar Pradesh with a population of 166 million people is the most populous state of India. And at that time, UP alone accounted for about 16% of the Indian population. And going on further, according to the 2011 census data, Uttar Pradesh shot up to the population of 199 million and still held its position for being the most populous state of India. And as today, it still accounts for 16% of the country's population. On the contrary, Sikkim has the population of 0.6 million and Lakshwadeep stands at 64,429. And almost half of the population of India is concentrated in the states of Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Bihar, West Bengal and Andhra Pradesh. Though Rajasthan is the largest state in terms of area, it only constitutes to 6% of the total population of the country. On that note, let's find out about India's population distribution by density. So what do we mean by population density? Population density actually provides us with a better picture of India's uneven distribution. In other words, population density refers to the measurement of population which resides in per unit area or unit volume. Now, population density is calculated as the number of persons per unit area. And according to the last census taken at 2011, Population density of India stands at 382 persons per square kilometer. India has an uneven population distribution. Moving on, Assam and most of the peninsular states have moderate population densities because of the hilly terrain, shallow rainfalls and less fertile soil. 
but the northern plains and kerala have high population densities owing to the flat plains fertile soil and abundant rainfall and that is how natural factors affect the number of people residing in a particular area tutor me for more amazing video lectures download the free app on apple app store or google play store